down to the wire. Benjamin Netanyahu's last-minute announcement of a coalition government drew mixed reactions on the streets of Jerusalem. This is a bad government. It's very bad. It's racist. And I don't believe it will last more than a year. I hope it doesn't. We hope that this government will uh, be a real right-wing government that will uh, do a lot of good for the nation of Israel, build the country, build uh, new settlements. After weeks of negotiations following his November election victory, Netanyahu, already Israel's longest-serving prime minister, is on the verge of returning to power once again with the help of far-right and ultra-Orthodox partners. Among the incendiary figures in his power-sharing deal, Itamar ben Gmir, who was once convicted of incitement to racism. He's been appointed security minister to take charge of the national police. Bezalel Smotrich, who has been accused in the past of plotting violent attacks against Palestinians, is set to have widespread authority over West Bank settlement construction, in addition to being finance minister. Avi Maos, who has described himself as a proud homophobe, will control parts of the country's education system. The New York Times wrote, Mr Netanyahu will lead a hardline six-party coalition whose members seem to upend the judicial system, reduce Palestinian autonomy in the occupied West Bank, further strengthen Israel's Jewish character and maximise state support for the most religious Jews. The Belgian paper Le Soir ran a headline reading, Israel is putting in place the most extremist government in its history. The United States and the European Union have both said they will judge the new government by its policies, not its personalities.